homemade breaker interlock here and uh, I want to be able to run my generator and I know people flip the main breaker off and they just say I'll always remember to flip it off before I turn my generator on and that's uh, up to them but um, I decided that I just go ahead and build this it took like an hour you can buy these online for 50 bucks 100 bucks I've seen them as expensive as 150 um, I did it was a square D um, panel and I thought I'm sure I could find one but I just didn't so I just go ahead and make my own and it'll look pretty simple just a few dollars in parts the steel had laying around and um, these little nuts are what I used on the back side of the panel so what I did was I just used a piece of cardboard and uh, got the basic dimensions down laid it on a piece of steel cut it out with a circular saw and a metal blade and then trued it up with a file here and there and then I drilled three holes here here and here and I wished I'd drilled them a little bit closer just so it didn't flop around quite as much it's got a little bit of movement here it's not a lot but it's I just like a little bit tighter um, drilled three holes and marked those on this back part of the panel and drilled those holes, made sure they lined up and then cut these grooves here with a little die grinder and um, and then these nuts I flattened out the barbs on them slid them in from the back and tack welded them on from the back which I realized after I tack welded them on that was dumb, I didn't need to do that um, once these nuts are on I mean, yeah, once these are on the front or these little bolts they'll hold the nut in place so they won't fall out and they might wobble around a little bit but it's not like it's going to get a whole lot of action moving up and down so hopefully I'll never even use it but if I ever have to it's it's here so this seemed to work well I just then I put a couple washers underneath it just to minimize the, the play here and um, we'll get it painted up here shortly and I'll go ahead and put the instructions on it of how this works and kind of the process of um, what to do first, what to do second, what to do third, and blah, 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 as far as turning breakers on and off go and firing up the generator and connecting it and all that. So, Okay, so here's the main. We'll turn it off there. We'll slide the panel up and turn on the generator breaker. So now that'll feed the house and the garage, and it'll keep this from being turned back on and prevent uh, a shock to an electric line worker or feeding my uh, neighbor's house or whatever it might do. I don't know. I'm an electrician. In any event, it uh, looks like it'll work well. So this breaker, once the generator breaker's on, it holds the panel up. And um, I just uh, cut a little notch here and bent up a little. I was going to weld tabs on, but I, this is just becoming uh, too big of a project. And when I want to keep it as simple as possible, but effective. So then uh, we're done. Um, shut the generator off falls down we can turn the house back on okay that's it now I just got to build a generator house for the generator yeehaw